Today we're going to talk about spare magazines. Uh, it's one of the things that can really get expensive. In fact, when I first buy a gun, I look to see how much the magazines are going to cost. Uh, because you can go anywhere from $20 up to $60 for a spare magazine for your pistol, according to the make and model of the gun. One of the things we want to talk about today is Metgar mags. Uh, guys, I've been using Metgar mags for 20 years at least and it is one of my go-to mags. One of the things you really need to be careful of though is when you are buying magazines that are non-factory magazines. They can have issues. There's a lot of different companies out there making magazines and people have issues with them. Uh, I know at the gun show there's a lot of Glock mags that are Korean and some people say they work in certain types but I've seen so many that haven't and I've had a few. <laughs> and typically with Glock I buy Glock factory mags. But one of the great things about Medgar is they make a lot of mags for companies. Now, they won't tell you that necessarily. It's not really listed, but they are making the magazines. The thing is, the whole pistol and all the dynamics that go around making a pistol are different for your magazine. And if you don't have a reliable feeding system, you're going to have problems. In fact, if you're having problems with your gun, typically you can go to the magazine and find the issue. So, Metgar has been around since 1965, and that's over 50 years. It's 51 years. They've made over 100 million magazines, and so they know what they're doing. They're based in Italy. Uh, they, again, make a lot of the different magazines that you're finding in your pistol. Now, one of the magazines I want to start out with is the Beretta M9 or uh, 92F magazines. And uh, this one has the Metgar logo printed right here on the front. And it just says Made in Italy. It has the markings. That's another thing about these magazines. They're marked for the, the gun that they're with. And that, that can be a problem. A lot of times manufacturing magazines omit that. and uh, Or factory magazines. Um, now, one of the things you're going to find though is, is they're, they're only making steel magazines. They're not making polymer mags. So if it's, if it's a gun that uh, is a polymer magazine, you know, you're probably going to have to find it somewhere else. And like I spoke about the Glock. Uh, but this is a regular Metgar mag. Here is a military surplus Beretta mag that I, I bought. And uh, I get these at the gun show pretty reasonably uh, because the U.S. military is using these magazines. Uh, and really, the quality of the Metgar is, exceeds or is at least equal to the factory magazine. Uh, one of the things about the Metgar is it's one solid tube. There are no seams. It hasn't been um, welded. Hasn't been, you know, there are no seams anywhere. Uh, this is heat treated properly because they know what they're doing. Uh, in fact, they'll work with gun manufacturers, even the ones that they're not making the mags for, to produce a really good magazine. They use a carbon steel, and it's an A1 SI 1010. And then they also use, for their stainless steel, which this is, I believe this is actually a nickel uh, plate, but they do a nickel finish in a lot of these. But the stainless steel is a 177 um, grade stainless steel. And they're just exceptional. The... Uh, Springs inside of these magazines are actually music wire and it's really strong and it holds its tension well. There are a number of different ways, different base plates they offer. Uh, some of them with these little polymer base plates, some with just the metal. And uh, you know, you can go onto the Metgar website and check all the different details out. But they have all the witness holes, everything is smooth and it works smooth. But here on the back of the packaging, it has the different magazines that they make. A number of different ones for Beretta, a Bursa Browning 1911, CZ, Kimbers, the 10 millimeter and the 45, Luger, uh, Paraordnance, Rugers, not necessarily the new uh, SR9 or the new American, but uh, the uh, some of the older P series, and of course the Mark IIs, and then a lot of SIGs, Springfield Armory, Taurus, the Witness. And then, of course, Walther PPKs. And any of your CZ variants. I know I have one of the TriStar uh, 9mm. This is a CZ variant. And it comes with a Metgar magazine. Uh, and those things function flawlessly. All these guns have been safety checked and are unloaded. Uh, magazine slips up. It pops right out. And that's the way it's always worked with the Metgar mags. 
They have a really slick finish. This has kind of a matte finish, which Metgar's been going to lately. And they do make the polish blue, which is a very deep polish. Guys, I'm telling you, you can pick up some of these cheaper magazines and it'll, you know, they'll, they won't function at the range. The springs are weak. Uh, the one thing about Metgar is they are very consistent. Uh, when I got my Browning High Power just a, about three or four months ago, I immediately got online and ordered four uh, Metgar HP magazines. Now, one of the reasons I did that and I didn't go with the factory is that Metgar mags, even though they're super high quality, they're a lot cheaper than your factory magazine. On Brownells, the Metgar magazine runs $24.99. The Browning High Power Factory Mag runs $54.99. <laughs> so I can buy more than two of these for every one Browning High Power Mag. Now I can't say this for certain, but they probably make the Factory Mag for the Browning High Power. Okay, now here I have a little Beretta 950. Here is the original Factory Mag, and you can see the seams, how it's been welded. Now I think from that time, they changed that to the full body. Uh, this is still a Factory Mag here. And here we have the Metgar mag, which is marked, and it's got B950 25 caliber. Metgar on the other side. Goes in nice, pops out. Very smooth finish. It just feels like it's an OEM product for this gun. Now the standard issue for the Beretta is a 15 round magazine, but Metgar makes an 18 round magazine. And then if you get the extended base plate, it's a 20 round magazine. Uh, you try to get these from the factory from Beretta. And I just use Brownells for both the cost of the Metgar and the factory mags, just so I could give a fair comparison. Uh, the Beretta 92 mags run $19.99. And then you have the 20 rounders, which are $29.99. Compare that to the factory mag, it's $39.99 for the standard Beretta mag, and for the 20 rounder, it's $49.99. So you're getting a much better deal with the Metgar mag, and yet again, you're getting great quality. And of course, I would be remiss to not mention the uh, standard 1911 mags, and they do make them in a stainless, they make them in this nickel finish, and in the blue finish. Uh, we have a stainless Springfield Armory Champion. The magazine goes right up, very nice, comes right out. Nickel typically works a little smoother. It's got a lot of lubricity to the nickel. Just great fit. And then we have an officer's model that will not fit into this gun. <laughs> of course, some of the guns that I didn't mention, the Walther PP series or PPK, PPKS. They make magazines for it. The CZ-75, a number of different magazines. Um, also, the Bursa Thunder. Uh, this is the 380. At the range, complete reliability. Uh, they're just good, great mags. Uh, if you do have any problems, because any company can have a problem, uh, they do have a lifetime warranty on them, which makes it really nice. So, um, great mags, and they continue to innovate. Um, I highly recommend these guys. We're just going to shoot various magazines. Uh, we're using uh, Freedom Munitions 9mm, something I've really been wanting to get a hold of and te testing out. HPR 380, HPR 45 and Cellular and Bolle 25 ACP. And I want to thank HPR and Freedom Munitions for sending the ammo for the test. It allows us to really put some ammo through these magazines. But to be honest, I've been shooting these magazines for a long time and they always work. I posted a picture on my Instagram account, Such underscore zero zero, and uh, all the guys are saying the same thing. But if you ever do have any problems, the lifetime guarantee should take care of it. I've been using Metgar for many years. And it's never failed me. Uh, they're just great magazines. You know, when you're looking for aftermarket magazines, there's nothing worse than just wondering if these are going to work. And I've been there, done that. And one of the great things about Metgar is, is they're just great quality. And again, a lot of the OEM mags are Metgar mags. So you know that if the gun companies are going to trust it, you know, they're just good mags. I have all the links below. Uh, you can get them directly from Metgar. 
Uh, you can also get them from brown ales, like I mentioned, which are pretty good prices. But, you know, shop around and you can find what's best for you. But uh, having extra magazines for your pistol is really great peace of mind. So Metgar handgun mags, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Well, it's really just a lot of, and they're just malik. They make the mags. These are obviously Beretta came from England. So Mex, um, I highly recommend these guys. I highly recommend these guys.